Hi everyone and welcome to another one. Welcome to Program Code 101, the place where we learn the art and skills required to develop code. I'm your instructor, Mr. Decoder. In our last video, we looked at the process of writing prompt and input statements. We also covered declaration and initialization stages of pseudocode development in another video. To see the details of stages 1 through 5, you can click the link above. In today's video, emphasis will be placed on stages 6, 7, and 8 of the pseudocode development process. A process statement is used to indicate the manipulation or calculation of items or values entered through the input phase of our algorithm or program. There is an equation that I normally use to illustrate operations of process statements. This equation reads LHS equal RHS. LHS stands for left hand side. This is always represented using a variable or constant name. Now this is the storage location of the operations being performed on the right hand side of the equation. RHS stands for right hand side and this can be represented using a constant value another variable name or an operation or calculation being performed. Here, we're going to look at the examples of process statements. Our first example shows that a constant value being assigned or stored in the variable name num1, and this constant value is five. In our second example, it shows the variable name num3 being assigned to num2. Now, whatever value that is being stored in num3 will be placed in the variable num2. Our third example shows an operation being done on the right hand side of the equation. The result of that operation num1 plus num2 is stored in variable name sum. If we notice all variables on the left hand side of each of these equations are storage locations. They are being used to store whatever value, variable or operation that is on the right hand side of the equation. An output statement is used for displaying the results of the operations carried out within the processing statement. Now the keyword print is also used to indicate that the results of data processing are to be displayed to your monitor or screen. Examples of output statements. The format here shows two ways of representing an output statement. The first way uses the keyword print followed by the variable name being used to store an item or value. Second format shows the keyword print followed by a descriptive text which gives an idea of what is being displayed. Then the variable name used to hold the item or value being shown. Here we have examples which represents both formats. The first example will have the keyword print followed by the variable name f name. So whatever is stored in f name will be displayed to your monitor. In the second example, we have the keyword print followed by a descriptive text and the variable name. In this descriptive text, we have the result of the calculation is. That will be displayed to your monitor followed by whichever value that is stored in sum. The last stage of the pseudocode development process is stop. Stop is a keyword that is used to indicate the end or termination of execution within your pseudocode or program. Let us look at an example of all the stages and how they come together to form or complete pseudocode. To begin our pseudocode, we have the keyword start. The next two lines show two variables being declared, num1 and num2, and the data type integer being attached. This is followed by our initialization phase where our variables num1 and num2 are being set to starting value zero. After the initialization phase, we'll have our prompt statement where we we'll have the keyword print followed by the instruction being given to enter two integer values. After our prompt statement, we have our input statement, which is used to accept the two values that will be entered by the user. After our input statement, we have our process statement, which will be taking the two values entered from the user and performing an operation, which is to add num1 and num2, the result of which will be stored in sum. After our process statements, we have our output statement, which will be taking the results of whatever was done from the processing phase and displaying this result to the user. 
the descriptive text, the sum is, will be shown followed by whichever value it is stored in the variable sum. After our output statement, we have the keyword stop, and this completes our pseudocode. <laughs> In our next video, we will be generating pseudocodes from problem statements. Thank you for being a part of another one. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, take care.